very good morning dear students uh, today in the lesson environmental management we shall study about meteorol meteorology uh, imd that is indian uh, meteorological department and about the monsoon models okay fine so let us begin with the first part that is meteorology so meteorology is nothing but the science that studies the interrelationship between the various components of air natural cycles geological movements on the earth and the climate so all these uh, the science which deals with all these interrelationship between all these things is called as meteorology okay now meteorology includes the study of storms clouds thunder rainfall okay lightning etc now um, uh, that means it is studying everything uh, if uh, you know you are getting the information from the meteorological department about whether there is going to be a storm or it might be cloudy or there will be heavy rainfall or thundering and lightning everything is been told by meteorological department okay and it is important for us to know because all um, everybody's life is dependent upon the weather uh, and the climate of the place so weather forecast are useful to common people like us farmers as well fisheries aviation services water transport and various other organization fine so that is why you know this study the study of um, all these interrelationship between the weather uh, the conditions of the weather okay uh, is very important okay there are different institutes at work now this since this has been cancelled from your uh, syllabus i'm not going to deal with uh, the world meteorological organization and even the use uh, using icity okay so that has been cancelled but if you can you know study it would be much better if you just have to remember because it might be later on it will be useful for you so we'll skip that part and we will go only for india uh, meteorological department so uh, we will see today about the how is the functioning of india's meteorological department how it is giving us information about the various factors now this india meteorological department also called as imd was founded by the british in the year 1875 at shimla and its head offices are at pune and there are regional offices at mumbai kolkata chennai nagpur and even delhi and that is why whenever you know uh, when we were small we were we used to watch on doordarshan about uh, the different um, Uh, you know news uh, news channels uh, news channel uh, not news channel only doordarshan news used to come okay uh, in english as well as in hindi fine at that time they used to tell about the weather forecast of these four places that is mumbai kolkata chennai uh, and delhi okay these were the main cities at that time so why it's because the regional offices are at these places whereas its head office is at pune and remember that it was founded at shimla when there were british in the 80 in the year 1875 so what is done by these department this department is that maps are prepared every day by this department which indicates the daily predictions about the weather so every 24 hours these maps are uh, published every twice in every 24 hours so in this institute a research goes on continuously on various aspects like the instrument for climatic readings like rain gauge you might be knowing about the recordings of the rain uh, is done by, with the help of rain gauge and temperature is measured with the help of thermometer and so on so uh, they are uh, you know working on various aspects like instruments which are required for the climatic readings then predictions about uh, the climate uh, made using the radar you can see over here radar predictions about climate related to seismology that means seismology is the study of you know um, movement of the earth then predictions regarding rainfall by the use of satellites okay as air pollution etc then what else it does the interior meteorological department also provides info important information regarding weather and climatic conditions to other departments like aviation that is air shipping agriculture irrigation okay marine oil explorations and production etc because it is very important as far as suppose if you are traveling by plane and all it is very necessary for uh, you know 
uh, that department aviation department to know whether how is the climate today how is uh, sorry how is the weather today and accordingly they have to decide their flight otherwise the flights are delayed by you know uh, you know uh, for a longer time so that is why this predictions are also sent to these uh, departments okay so predictions regarding calamities like dust storms if it is going to be sand storm heavy rainfall cyclone hot and cold waves tsunami etc are also communicated to various departments all types of mass communication media as well as the common people that is the citizens by this department okay now india has launched uh, several satellites equipped with high class technology uh, observatories at several locations are doing excellent work in the analysis of information received from this satellite so uh, you i don't know whether you know about the observatory observatory mostly consists of you know telescope and all if you see so here even um, observatories uh, record what is you know uh, the information sent by the uh, you know satellite and all so that is been recorded in even the observatory so observatory several locations are doing excellent work in analysis of information received from these satellites then <coughs> Uh, uh that is why uh, indian meteorological department is very useful for us for getting the different information regarding the daily weather conditions and the others uh, fine now let us study about uh, you know monsoon model and climatic predictions so due to based on these monsoon models only we are getting the information regarding uh, the different parameters of the weather okay so uh, how these monsoon models were first developed let us see first a little bit of history about it okay so the tradition of forecasting the monsoon in india is older than 100 years you know uh, people also by looking at the sky they come to know about how is uh, it going to be today whether it is to, you know old people especially they used to look at the sky and they used to tell that how is how will be the weather today so so that tradition is there so before all these models and predictions by these models were done so forecasting has been done in india which is more than 100 years old then after the famine of 1877 now sir h f blenford okay who was the founder of imd that is indian meteorological department has made such prediction for the first time taking into consideration the snowfall in the himalayas as a parameter for this prediction see for any prediction there has to be certain parameters like uh, suppose if i want to record the temperature daily uh, temperature so there has to be a thermometer so um, uh, to measure the temperature then rainfall can be me measured with the help of rain gauge fine so like that some parameter should be there and at that time the famine of 1877 was predicted by h f blenford just uh, by looking at the snow snowfall in the himalayas okay uh then uh, the then uh, in the decade of 1930s the then director of imd who was sir gilbert walker uh, had underlined the relationship between the various worldwide climatic factors and the indian monsoon and based on available observations and previous recordings related to this relationship For, uh, he put forth the hypothesis regarding the nature of the monsoon okay so that means based on uh, uh, the previous uh, recordings okay uh, sir uh, gilbert walker who was the director of imd okay he made um, he had underlined the relationship between worldwide climatic conditions okay uh, how and indian monsoon Okay. based on this he you know designed certain models based on available observations whatever observations were taken and some previous recording and he uh, tried to find a relationship between this so he put forth certain hypothesis hypothesis is nothing but you know to uh, generalize uh, to certain statements some people give that is called as hypothesis and that has to be proved okay when it is proved it becomes a theory fine now with the initiative of dr vasant gowarikar okay in the decade of 1990s a monsoon model based upon 16 worldwide climatic parameters was developed 
okay now what does this mean monsoon model you know um, uh, you know our country especially our country is tropical country and you know our agriculture is based fully on the monsoon okay and you know to uh, find out about what can be the productivity how the monsoon can affect us whether it will be a flooding condition or it will be drought or it will be a normal rainfall there has to be some model okay and for this model there has to be certain parameter so he uh, he designed one model monsoon model based upon you know worldwide 16 uh, climatic parameters okay so like you know related to the weather whether it is uh, pressure atmospheric pressure or maybe temperature the surface temperature of the water oceanic currents all those different parameters was uh, developed and this model was used uh, in use from around 1990 to 2002 presently there are new models which are being developed at the iitm and that is indian institute of tropical meteorology okay so which has uh, developed new models so work is in progress at two levels namely designing new models and new technologies okay so this is done by iitm fine now there are different models and uh, these uh, models are using uh, the system of radar and uh, you know the use of satellites is uh, made to find out about the different climatic uh, predictions okay so <clears throat> Uh, let us learn now about the different mathematical uh, uh, different models monsoon models the first one is the mathematical model which is also called as the dynamic model okay now what is been done in, uh, in this so forecasting are made with the mathematical models which take into account estimates of current weather related events and ongoing physical interactions between them now what is done here uh, uh, estimates of current weather that means you know weather has different parameters okay as i mentioned to you previously also and there was a chart there is a chart in your textbook also all those are called as the weather parameters so whatever is the you know weather is specific for a specific location and at a specific time it is different right so the estimates of whatever is the current uh, weather condition and ongoing physical interactions between them that means you know uh, physical interactions between all these parameters this model has been designed and it is you know mathematical model that means data is collected about the current climatic parameters and it is analyzed mathematically with the help of a super computer you might have heard about param super computer okay so this is param super computer which is shown on the right hand side so based using this param super computer various analysis mathematical analysis are done so various mathematical models based upon daily geographic events are developed by super computer so this is our mathematical model works now next one is a holistic model now holistic model is holistic means it takes into account the different models and predicts so in this model predictions are based upon those parameters used in other models which have the greatest effect on the monsoon then nowadays predictions declared by imd are the collective outcome of various models so this is called as the holistic model so what is done in holistic model is nothing but it is you know the outcome of different models that means different models are taken into consideration and then the average of them is considered as the holistic model fine so the last one is the statistical model okay and statistical model has been used from uh, the earlier time until now so in this model the current climatic observations in a region are compared with the earlier parameters such as the oceanic temperature atmospheric pressure and the nature of the monsoon uh, rainfall of the several years okay now what is done here in this case is that you know different parameters are uh, uh, you know uh, it is regarding uh, there is a interrelationship between um, the indian uh, monsoon uh, summer monsoon and uh, you know the outside that means the oceanic currents and all that there is a relationship between so with that relationship and uh, the past recordings it is been developed so from these past recordings the uh, you know through this model it is you know it is predicting about the uh, future uh, and the present uh, conditions of the weather as well as of the climate 
So this data is comparatively analyzed by statistical method that means you know about statistics that means there will be so many graphs drawn and all based on the different information okay. So statistical based on these um, uh, you know data statistical analysis is done using drawing the graphs and all and predictions are made about the monsoon in the present conditions. So this is regarding uh, the different uh, monsoon models fine so always remember also has been cancelled from your syllabus so you may not um, uh, remember it fine so this is regarding the you know meteorology imd and about the monsoon model so next time we are going to learn about the solid waste management which is the need of the art so till then student till we meet again in the next video bye and thank you